Hi, hello everyone. In this part, we will see how to launch our own server after creating an account in AWS portal. Uh, after we create an account, uh, they generally take a few hours to finish the verification process. So after three or four hours, if you come back and then hit on sign into console, it will again ask for username and password. And uh, this time, when you hit on sign in yeah you will see this dashboard once again you can hit on ec2 here which is under recently visited section or if you don't see this you can also type ec2 in the search bar and then hit on this link yeah uh, now you can see the actual dashboard uh, of aws and in this the first thing that you have to do is to change the location in the top right please make a note this is the most important point if you select tokyo uh, it means that you are picking up a server that is located in tokyo all right we don't need that right we need a server that has the least latency or which is very fast so if you pick mumbai then you will get a machine that is actually hosted in mumbai right so uh, now I have selected Mumbai uh, and uh, then I can hit on this launch instance. Alright, This is the button that you have to hit uh, in order to uh, create an instance. So if you, after you hit on this again, you have to hit on launch instance. And then it will just ask a few things and you can create a machine in just two minutes. All right. Uh, you can give some name, maybe a demo server and uh, uh, then you have to select windows here by default you have all these amazon uh, linux mac os ubuntu and all that just hit on windows machine and you can pick any free tier eligible machine you can select 2019 2022 whatever you want you can uh, select but it has to be uh, eligible for free tier okay you will see this free tier eligible here right so that needs to be there so that you can use this uh, for free without paying anything and uh, let me use the same 2022 based version and if you come here you see the instance type uh, amazon gives uh, uh, a name to each and every instance it has one gb memory you can see and it is t2 micro the name of this is t2 micro this is a free uh, machine and uh, then the most important thing here is key pair key pair is nothing but a file that you need to get the password for this remote server all right first you need to create this file and keep it somewhere on your uh, uh, laptop and when you ask for the password then you need this key pair all right so you just uh, hit on uh, create new key pair it asks you for uh, a name you can uh, just give any name uh, just put dot pem and create key pair all right you can see that a key pair has been created and downloaded to my laptop and you don't need to touch other things uh, let them be as is and just hit on launch instance in the right hand side okay if you hit on launch instance you can see that the instance has been successfully initiated and now if you go back to your instances can you see ec2 instances if you go back you see that the instance state is pending so in fact you have already created the instance and uh, now aws is just preparing the instance it will be done in a few minutes maybe less than five minutes uh, you can revisit after five minutes and then you see that it is running oh in fact you can see that you know it instantly changed the status to running all right now my instance is ready it's running but of course uh, i also have to wait for a few more minutes because under this status check I get uh, something called two by two checks done, something like that. So let's wait for one to two more minutes. And uh, here you also have a refresh button. You can hit on the refresh button. You can see that the status is initializing. All right, now you can see that uh, it says two by two checks passed. Uh, so now my instance is completely ready. Now you might ask me, how do we connect to this instance, right? To connect to any instance you need uh, a username and password right so for that you first have to right click on this 
and hit on connect button or alternatively you can also select this and hit on the connect button at the top all right so just hit on the connect button and you see something called this okay session manager rdp client and ec2 serial console hit on the second option which is rdp client now after hitting on this scroll down a little bit and you see something called get password all right hit on the get password and this is where you need to upload the private key file that we created in the earlier step right dot pem file that we created and downloaded file right uh, that file we need to upload here so i will just hit on uh, upload and give this dot pem file you can see that the pem file has been uploaded and now i click on decrypt password now if you scroll down i have my password which i use to connect to this instance so save this password very carefully because hereafter you are not going to get uh, this password again uh, maybe you have to again upload the pm file and get a new password so please ensure that you save this password somewhere and one other thing uh, i forgot to mention along with the password please also copy public dns and username all right uh, these are the three things that we need uh, while connecting to uh, an instance now all you have to do is just go to remote desktop connection you can just type remote in your windows machine and you see something called remote desktop connection this is the utility through which you can connect to any instance in the world provided you have these three details one is the ip address second is the username and the third is the password now in the first step what you have to do is just give the server ip or the public dns in fact that uh, you know we have already taken in the previous step and uh, then you have something called show options expand that it will ask for username you also have taken the username uh, you also have taken username in the previous step right so just paste the username in most cases username will be administrator with capital a and then hit on this allow me to save credentials so that you don't need to type the password again and again from the next time all right now before hitting on the connect button you can also save this connection so that you don't even need to type a uh, computer ip or dns or the username from the next time so first let me save this uh, wherever i want to save on my local laptop i've just hit on save as it is asking me for the location i'll select desktop i can give whatever name i want maybe i'll give demo underscore server dot rdp is the extension and then hit on save and then i hit on the connect button and then again it will ask me for the confirmation please make sure that you check mark again this one don't ask me again for connections to this computer and then hit on connect now it will ask you for the password give the password that you have taken in the earlier step paste it and again check mark this remember me so there are three check marks that we have done until now uh, and after that you just have to hit on ok and this is the fourth check mark that again you have to do don't ask me again for connections to this computer basically this is a one-time job that we need to do right so that from next time onwards uh, we just have to hit on the connect and it will directly take us to the server right so uh, hit on this and then hit on yes and that's it you are done now your windows machine is ready and you can start downloading the algos and you know do whatever you want on this windows machine let's wait for a few seconds all right here it is my new windows machine is ready and if you ever want to come out of this uh, instance or close this instance just press on escape so that at the top you see this bar all right uh, you can restore that you can maximize that minimize that or you can even close that as i said earlier even if you close this the programs will still be running on this server and before uh, i close i need to mention one very important thing here generally when the algos are developed it takes the time from your local machine if you install the algo on this server it will take the time from this server so you need to ensure that you change the date and time settings as per your market time which means you always need to ensure that your date and time are always a plus five and a half hours because we are in india 
and we need to run the algos as per Indian stock market timing. We need to ensure that we always select a plus five and a half hour Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi. If you do not do this, then uh, the algos might run at a different time zone and then you also have to go to region uh, in the left hand side you can see right date and time is done now you go to region and then select india here all right recommended language uh, english is fine and then you can close this now you see that uh, this time is as per ist and your algo will perfectly run as per your settings all right uh, that's all you have to do as i said if you want to close it you can close it but the programs will still uh, be running on this server which is which is a big advantage for you and if you want to reconnect then uh, you also can go to this rdp connection that we have saved on the desktop all right of course again you can go to uh, windows and then type remote desktop connection and then give all the details or you can simply hit on this uh, rdp connection that we have saved and it will directly take you to your uh, windows machine this is the advantage you don't need to again type dns username and password right alternatively uh, you also can connect through your mobile you just have to download any rdp softwares from uh, play store or uh, app store there are so many softwares available you can download any and uh, it also will ask you for three details uh, dns or ip address and then the second is username and the third is the password all right and uh, one last thing uh, just like our local uh, machines uh, in case if we keep using uh, this server without restart with the time it might become slow so the suggestion is once in a week we better restart uh, the server so how do we do it you again have to log in into this aws dashboard and once after you log in you see uh, a screen like this all you have to do is hit on this instances running or you can hit on instances as well anything is fine if you hit on this instances running then it will take you to a dashboard like this uh, if you right click on the server that you have created you see something called stop instance all right uh, so just hit on the stop instance and uh, it will ask for the confirmation just say stop and you see that it is stopping wait for one or two minutes you will see that the instance is stopped and once the instance is stopped again you can right click on this and then hit on start instance alternatively you can also select the server and then go to the instance state here also you can see start instance and stop instance or you can also right click on the instance you can see that now the instance is completely stopped and all i have to do is just right click and hit on start instance all right so after two minutes now i can see that the state is changed to running so now i have stopped the server and then started but your login will not work now the reason is once after you stop and start the instance this uh, dns ip will change all right so again all you have to do is just select the server and then hit on the connect button and go to rtp client and you can download remote desktop file this is nothing but the same file that we ourselves have saved and put on the desktop right now all you have to do is just hit on the download remote desktop uh, it will be downloaded as per your system settings and you can just double click on that give the password and connect remember the password does not change only the public dns will change okay so i will go to the file you can just check mark this don't ask me again for the connection hit on the connect button and then it will ask you for the password give the password and then again hit on remember and then uh, just press ok all right so that from next time onwards it will not ask for the password as well so that's all you have to do stop instance start instance and then hit on connect button and then come to rdp client and again you have all the details here i hope it is useful now you know how to create your own uh, machine in case if you have any questions you can reach out to us uh, you can just go to bluechipalgos.com and hit on contact button uh, you see our whatsapp number 9398840360 you can just whatsapp us and we will help you in creating the machine in case if you face any issue all right thank you so much for watching the video have a good day